Today we're going to be making strawberry cheesecake macarons. First, let's start with getting the egg whites from four large eggs. Next, measure out 120 grams of granulated sugar. I also add dried egg white powder to the sugar. Here I'm adding five grams. This is to stabilize my meringue and make my shells more full. I just mix together the egg white powder and the sugar. Next, I'm measuring out 126 grams of almond flour. I'm also going to add 126 grams of powdered sugar and add 10 grams of freeze-dried strawberries. And all I've done is just made this into a powder with a rolling pin in a Ziploc bag. And now I'm going to push the ingredients uh, through the sifter and discard any large pieces. Now it's time to make our meringue. Over a pot of barely simmering water, add your bowl of egg whites. Pour your granulated sugar into your egg whites and begin to stir. We want to keep stirring until our sugar has completely dissolved. You can check if the sugar has dissolved by lifting up your egg whites and filling for any sugar grains. It will only take a couple of minutes for the sugar to completely dissolve. Once you no longer fill any grains, you're good to go and can transfer your egg whites over to the mixer. Now pour your egg whites into the bowl of your stand mixer and slowly turn up the speed. I typically whip my meringue at a speed of seven or eight. Once my meringue starts to look glossy, I will add my food coloring. Today, I'm going to add a couple of drops of soft pink gel food coloring and a couple of drops of super red food coloring. I slowly turn up the speed again and I will whip the meringue until we reach stiff peaks. Stiff peaks are when the meringue has straight points and does not bend over. Here the meringue tip is bending over. This is called bird's peak or medium peak. We want to keep going until the points are straight out. Let's check again. See how pointy the tips are? We can now stop the meringue process. Here's another look. See how stiff and straight those peaks are? This is where you want to stop. Now it's time to add our meringue to the dry ingredients. You can add your dry ingredients into the bowl with your meringue or you can add your meringue on top of the dry ingredients. This is all personal preference. Now we want to fold the dry ingredients in with our meringue to form the batter. Keep folding until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Your batter should look like a very thick lava. Now it's time for the macronage process. And here, uh, all I'm doing is pressing through the center of the bowl and pressing the batter up against the sides. I rotate the bowl in like quarter turns and then I'll fold the batter back into the center of the bowl. It's good to check the consistency of the batter on a regular basis. Our goal is to get the batter to a ribbon-like stage where it just ribbons off the end of your spatula. See here, it's still very thick. Just keep going with the process and the batter should roll off of your spatula. You should be able to form several figure eights in one continuous stream. You do want to be careful though not to overmix the batter. As soon as you can make a few figure eights, you want to stop the macronage process. Also pay attention to how the batter just kind of melts back into itself in the bowl. This is exactly what we're looking for. Next, I cover my work surface with a towel and transfer the batter to a piping bag. Today, I'm using a round number 12 tip to pipe the shells. I'm also using a one and a half inch template. 
There's a link in the description below if you would like to use this template. Now remove the template and bang your tray to release the air bubbles. You can use a scribe or toothpick to pop any remaining bubbles. Now it's time to rest your shells. This can take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. You want a skin to form on top and you should be able to rub and not have any batter come off your finger. Then you place in the oven. Today I'm baking at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Now they've baked, let's look at the inside. These shells are straight out of the oven. The shells are sticking to the mat slightly because they haven't cooled yet. But as we lift up the shell and look, we actually have a pretty full shell. While our shells are cooling, let's start the filling. Take one softened stick of salted butter, one eight ounce block of cream cheese softened, and cream together. Next, add three cups of powdered sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat until well combined. Now add a half a cup of strawberry sauce. Again, beat until well combined. To thicken up your filling, you may need to add additional powdered sugar. And just keep beating until it reaches the consistency you're looking for. Now let's fill our shells. I'm using a tip 21 star tip. Once our shells are together, let's add a little flair. Start by taking a handful of white baking chips. Today I'm using Ghirardelli, white chocolate. Microwave for 40 seconds and cut the tip of the Ziploc bag and drizzle the white chocolate over top your shells. Now it's time to enjoy. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. And while you're here, make sure to watch this other Macron video. Have a wonderful and blessed day.